Hello. Howdy. Greetings. My name's Drew. You're you. And I have here kind of a mountain of new products that I would love to talk to you about. So let's get started because it's a bit to bite off. Uh, you know what? There's really no better place to start than this little unassuming bottle of ink. This happens to be Lamy Dark Lilac. And this was an ink that existed back in 2016. It enjoyed a short but very memorable uh, duration of availability. And then, you know, the years passed and it was going for obscene prices on eBay. Lamy decided to bring it back, or at least a version of it back. It does differ slightly. We have a video detailing all of that that you can click on here. I'm not gonna get into it now because Brian already got into it. So enjoy that. What I will tell you is that it is available. It is $12 and you can buy it on our website. Um, here it is. It's in the standard Lamy bottle. It's got some blotter paper here spiraled around this base, which is unique. No other bottle really does that. And it's a beautiful purple with a lot of fun sheen added to it. So 12 bucks, get yourself some dark lilac. It is going to be an ongoing addition, so you don't need to worry anymore about availability other than the fact that it is, as it has been, extraordinarily popular and uh, media attention, internet drama has made it even more popular. So uh, there's still plenty of it, but that should be the only challenge in availability. It will not be officially a limited ink and we should have some for the foreseeable future. Lamy Dark Lilac. Also new ink, Ferris Wheel Press. You know, as we often talk about here on the What's New video series, Ferris Wheel Press has unveiled a new fairy tales edition of their ink, this one being called Unfettered Flight. And it is a beautiful light blue with um, duochrome golden pink shimmer. It's a very light ink. I did have the opportunity to write with this. It's very light. I would not recommend putting it in an extra fine nib. I would stick with a larger nib or a dip nib to really saturate that color because it is a beautiful color, but you need to put down quite a bit of it to really let it pop. So the unfettered flight bottle, 20 mils, 20 bottles available now, won't be available forever. Flight that is unfettered can be yours. Wearing goal has two new colors available now, 20,000 leagues under the sea and Persephone. Not a series, not in any way connected other than the fact that they've launched in the same week. 20,000 leagues under the sea is a blue with gold shimmer. Lovely, lovely ink. I, I've had the opportunity to write with all of the inks we're gonna talk about today, so it's been fun. It really has been fun. This one has been no exception, 20,000 le 20, leagues under the sea. The only thing not fun about this is writing 20,000 leagues under the sea on that little tiny swatch card you'll see on our website. But the ink itself, quite lovely. $22 for that one. That and Persephone are both going to be 30 mils and both going to be $22. Persephone has a little bit more pizzazz going on to it. It is a purple ink with a red shimmer. So a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more wild than the blue with gold. Although any shimmer ink is wild and you know not exactly understated. But uh, Persephone, definitely a fun ink. Both of them very, very fun. And both of them look great. And you can see on the writing samples, as I will show you, both available now for $22. We are going to take a break from ink and look at this pen right here. I haven't yet seen this in real life, IRL if you will, but it is from Kaveco. And let's take a look at this. The box, as soon as I picked it up, I noticed that the box is textured. That is pretty cool. Not something you usually see from Kaveco. These boxes are usually pretty minimal but you can see we've got some texture there. It doesn't really matter, but I don't know. I like that touch. So this particular pen is called the Apricot Pearl. And ah, there we go. Limited production pen. And it is a pearlescent pen. If you happen to have seen the Iridescent Pearl, that pen made some waves. It was really, really popular. This one is definitely not quite as pearlescent, uh, but it does have some depth in the resin. So hopefully you can see that. It's not flat, for sure. You do see a little bit of shine there in the resin. There is a little bit of depth. Not super pearly, 
but also not simply a translucent resin either. Uh, we've got a gold nib on there. It's obviously stainless steel, gold plated, but the Kavecos can be a pretty full size pen when they're posted and then unposted, of course. They're super portable. So there you go. Um, this is going to be, uh, you know, it's going to come with a cartridge in here, or you can fit a little mini converter in there as well. And this is available now for $30 with this fun little box. So it's a Kaveco. I'm not going to spend a ton of time talking about this. Odds are you've seen one of these before. And if you haven't seen one of these before, let me just say they're one of the more popular starter pens and one of the more popular, if not the most popular pocket pen in the industry. So there we have that. And now ink, a lot of ink. It's an entire season of Colorverse. And this season of Colorverse, if you're familiar with seasons in Colorverse, it's kind of the only ink brand that does this. They theme an entire collection, a season, around a similar format. Season seven was, I believe, called IA on the Universe. It was about the Hubble Space Telescope. This one is called the Great Expedition, Grand Expedition. Grand? I didn't write that down. I think it's Grand Expedition. We'll go with that. And it's all about Jupiter and things that surround and or mildly related to Jupiter. So we're going to take a look at these. I'm not going to go over them in super, super detail because there are a lot, deceptively a lot, because each of these boxes, we'll take a look at bow shock and intense magnetic field here. Yes, two. That's why they are, they are deceptive because each of these has two bottles of ink in here, a large one and a small one. The Grand Expedition. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so we've got some literature here, which is something fun that is included in all uh, double packs right here. You do get a bit of the um, uh, kind of inspiration behind it, and then a list of all the inks that are included in the collection, which is nice. Adds a bit more flair when it comes to the packaging. You'll also have this little envelope sleeve that has stickers with all of the colors there, a little logo for each of the colors. Even if you didn't get them all, um, you'll still get all of your colors. There's a little napkin for blotting your pen. How fun is that? It is the only box of ink ever that comes with a napkin. I'm just going to go ahead and say it, ever. I'm not entirely sure, but what are the odds, right? And then two swatch cards with the signature Colorverse bottle, which I believe is um, intentionally shaped like a comet. So you've got this inner box here, you've got this that covers up the things, and then you peel this back, and that's a whole separate piece, and then you've got your actual bottles. And look at that. And they are kind of shaped like comets, like See, they have little tails on them. We've also got Sideris Nuncius and Heliocentrism. We've got Halo Ring and Dust of Adrestia, and Adrestia is a glistening ink, meaning shimmer. We've also got Ganymede and Icy Moon, which is a glistening ink. Lapless Resonance and Loki Patera, which is also a glistening ink. And then we've got finally Massive Storm and Great Red Spot. I was going to talk about what these mean, and I started spending way too much time online learning about Galileo and Jupiter and its moons and the, the, the lava lake in Loki Patera crater. And, what bow shock is. It started off with just like, what do I say, bow shock or bow shock? And then it just kind of escalated. So I will say, great inks, great story. If you do, or if you happen to be curious, all of these are really fun to read about, really interesting to learn about. And uh, you might connect with a story and then connect with it further as the ink uh, connects with you. So come for the ink, stay for the story. Or come for the story, stay for the ink, whatever. It is your option. Either way, Colorverse just does a great job with their theming, with their packaging, just a ton of intent behind what they deliver, what they bring to market. They do not bring anything to you, to us, with you know any sort of frivolity. It's all, all planned out, all very intentional, and you can tell that there's a lot of passion behind it. 
and I enjoy that. I think that no matter what, if there's passion behind the product, if there's excitement from the manufacturer to the writer, it's transcendent. It, 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 it keeps on moving, and I really, really love that. I just, I really dig it. So check these out if you would like. Uh, they are a bit costly because, as you saw, there are two bottles, the largest of the bottles being a, uh, what, what is that? Uh, it is a 65 milliliter bottle and then a 15. So these are gonna be $38. So it's a lot of ink you're getting. So make sure you love it. Um, unfortunately, we do not do samples for these because we'd have to open up a box and we'd have a little ink and we'd have to sample from the little ink, but obviously we'd need way more bottles of the little ink than we do the big ink. So we'd have a large, large surplus of the big ink. So we just don't do it because that would be wasteful and we don't want it to be wasteful. So you gotta commit, but luckily, I swabbed all of these, I wrote with all these, I did my best to give you some good representations of the colors, so hopefully you have what you need to make that call. And if you don't have what you need to make that call visually, hop on Wikipedia and actually learn about these meanings because it is fun, especially if you're a nerd, which watching a video about new fountain pen products, it's very possible. You're in good company though. So let's move on. There's a new Twisby. A new Twisby Eco. This is Dark Sapphire. And it's pretty. Let's take a look at the Dark Sapphire. So, I hope that my phone here picks this up normally. Like I can see I've got my right shade of pink, so that's good, that's a good sign. If Drew's pink, then all is right in the world. All right, okay, you know what? This is actually very accurate, good. Because I don't know if this is blue or purple. I think it's blue but it might be blurple. I don't know, what do you think? Blue, purple, or blurple? Either way, we're gonna call it Dark Sapphire and we're going to leave the debate alone. No matter what, if you like it, you like it, regardless of how blurple or not it may be. This is a Twisby Eco. It's got a super, super clear, lovely barrel with an internal filling mechanism via piston here with a blurple knob and a blurple cap. Eco. And if you've seen an Eco, this is going to be like it, but it is a beautiful new color that we have not yet seen. It comes with a wrench, it comes with some silicone grease, so you can take the whole thing apart. You just open this section up, you will see in there that there's a flat piece right there. See where it's shining, that little black piece? That is where you insert the wrench. You can unscrew everything, remove this whole assembly unit, and get a nice deep clean, which is a nice thing that Twisby provides any writer or artist who chooses to buy one of these pens. Um, however, you definitely don't need to do that. A lot of people open this thing up and they're like, wow, I need to take this apart then. You really don't, you really don't. The, uh, the, the likelihood of you needing to grease your piston on this using the included um, silicone grease within the first year of writing it's pretty slim, you're gonna be okay. You might even be okay five years. Um, it really just depends on what you're using your pen for, or the inks, how often you're using it, but really it's not needed very often, so don't worry about it. You'll know it if you need it. <clears throat> That's the Twisby Eco, it is $32.99, and it's available now at coolapens.com. Also, I will leave links to all of these products in the description below if you would like to click on through and check those out without having to type anything. Some more pens. We've got these four princesses. That's right, one, two, three, four princesses for you today from Sailor. And I'm going to unbox these real quick, so give me a minute. Okay, one, two, three, and four. These are unique. These are Sailor Pro Gear Slim fountain pens, but with a twist, and I'm not talking about the cat. These have Rodin and Machie in them. And by Rodin, I mean Mother of Pearl. Right there, you can see that little abalone shell there. Um, there, right there. That is not something you usually see on $312 pens, which is what we're looking at here. And as far as Machie goes, Machie is usually referred to um, in regards to hand painting. These are applied maquillage, so not exactly hand done, but the rodden obviously needs to be placed by hand. Like it's all like hand done to an extent, but you can see 
that the rodden has a little bit of a little plop on top of it there to keep it in place. So it's done in such a way that it does differ from traditional maquillé techniques, but it's not like it's not there. It's still there. It's still a form of rodden. And, you know, just kind of, it's in line with what you'd be paying for this pen. Either way, you do not often see a pen with this level of detail on it um, with the Pro Gear, within the Pro Gear family. So, definitely something fascinating, worthy of discussion, to be sure. You've got yourself a 14 karat gold nib here. If I can look at it, there we go. 14 karat gold nib on all of these. Some with gold trim, some with silver. So, let let us run through here the um, the one we have here. Now these are all based off of fairy tales uh, that include princesses. So Koto here has a light blue resin barrel with a uh, kind of a sandy brownish tan cap here. And then we've got seashells and waves. And that seashell has a very prominent piece of mother of pearl. And then next, um, this is, uh, they say it's a carp, not a koi, but I mean, there you go. You can see what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Shirote, milky white resin barrel, pastel violet cap, and then details of iris flowers here up at the top, and a carp fish down toward the bottom. If you'd like to learn more about these, um, there are more details on the website on each product page, you can learn a little bit more about the fairy tale itself, which helps justify a lot of these really, really pretty designs. So connection, that's what's important. Connect with your pen, understand your pen, the story behind it. That's one of the things that Sailor does really well is creating that story, that background to the writing instrument. So if you're here for it, it's there. If you're not and you just want a cool looking pen, it's also there. All right, let's take a look at um, this one. So this is Ochikubo, navy blue barrel here, and then a uh, yellow resin cap with cherry blossoms, cherry blossom flowers. So this one might be my favorite. I like that one a lot. And then finally, Uguisu, lime green barrel, pinkish red resin cap, and details of a bush warbler and flowers. And here we go. This is the one we looked at earlier. Quite lovely. One, two, three, four princesses. All available now. Won't be available forever, but they're here and they are $312 a piece. And I'll show you more images there. There were more images on the website. If you'd like to see more of these in more detailed shots, you can. But for now, we're going to move on. And we're going to move on to two pens that I happen to not have with me here, but I think that it's worth mentioning because they are just, they're fun to look at. So one of them is the Year of the Dragon Visconti. As you can see in these pictures, it is an incredibly detailed pen celebrating the Year of the Dragon. It is $4,796, a very, very prestige, very high-end pen, but with details that are really, really striking and worth looking at. I wanted to at least bring it up. And at that same price point, we also have the Galileo Galilee pen from Visconti celebrating Galileo, which happens to be right here on the Colorverse box too. So I guess today's just the day of Galileo. Um, so this is a very special model as well with a ton of details. More interestingly though, it has a very long cap, almost as long as half the barrel that comes off and then you grip um, kind of the middle of the pen uh, well, you don't have to. You grip the normal grip section. What I'm saying is it's got a really long cap, and it's surprising. The filling mechanism is also surprising. It is a power filler like Visconti has had in the past, but you unlatch it from the uh, midway point of the barrel, and then it locks into place after you pump it and fill it. So an interesting bit of mechanics in addition to the interesting bit of aesthetics. So I thought that was pretty fascinating and worth mentioning. Again, more info on the website if you wanted to check those out. But at close to $5,000, and I wasn't going to spend a ton of time on them uh, because I've got other <laughs> close to $5,000 pens that I am going to spend some time on, frankly, because we don't talk about Tatcha enough. So let me pack up my sailors here, and then I'm going to grab some Tatcha pens. So, okay, let's talk about Tatcha. Let's pull out the Golden Nectar first. 
So we've got a very lovely presentation wood box here. We're going to bring that over here and slide open the lid. And we've got a beautiful piece of paper here. I mean, it might be blotting paper, I don't know. And then some literature about the pen itself, signature, and look at that, y'all. There are only 20 of these pens made. And we have very, very, very few of them. I thought about not mentioning these because we have so very, very, very few, but it's just stunning. And I wanted you to see it because I also want to see it. And this is it. This is what we're talking about here, let's scooch this out of the way. You do get a nice, beautiful kimono case there, and you saw the box is quite lovely as well. This one is the Empress Limited Edition 18 karat Golden Nectar. But you've got rodden laid into various parts of the pen, including the bee's eyes, which are very prominent there, along the clip, along each of these hexagonal little honeybee hive, um, what, what, hole? what, what do I wanna say here? Uh, B. There's a word for that, right? Anyway, and you've got laid in, rodden, up and down. Look at that. Look at the detail there. That is just incredible. And it's all over. Like, it's just everywhere. And then you've got uh, Renkaku, which is a quail egg crushed up and placed into the petals of this flower. And you've got more rotten crushed up and painstakingly and meticulously applied to the wings of the bee. Just incredible. And you can see the Arushi giving that trademark blend right where the cap and the barrel meet, which is one of my favorite things about Arushi when it's done in this way. So you've got a beautiful Kind of, oh my gosh, y'all. Stunning. So this does have a king of pen nib, large 18 karat. So it matches the pen, which is nice. It's uh, nice to see a large pen with, you know, a proportionally large nib. It is a cartridge converter pen, but uh, the real showstopper here is the Rodden. And honestly, I don't want it to take away anything because the color of this Machie is really stunning. It's got, it's got this beautiful natural amber look to it, and I think it just drives home the theme of the honeybees really, really well. They've done a black pen with bees before in this same you know hive structure, but this amber red just sells it. It really does. So this pen is $3,916. Again, there's only 20 of them worldwide, so it's a rare one. Um, just as rare, though, is the Shangri-La here, also from Tasha, also out of 20 pens. So it comes with all of the treats that you would get with the honey, not the honey, the uh, golden nectar but uh, this one has a bit more going for it. So it does have a higher price tag of $4,316. Uh, it is minus one clip though, so that you are getting the entire bit of the pen showcased here with no interruption. And this has a green Urushi base, which is not something you see very often. It is not a common Urushi color, but it is really, really gorgeous when it is done. So here you've got a water scene with lilies done in Rankaku, and then, you know, a semblance of water being created by the rod in here. Each of these laid in by hand, which is why they can only make 20 of them. They do have spring-loaded inner caps as well, which is not something you really, but look at that. So it is going to seal really well because it's pressing up against an inner cap and creating a nice strong seal. So, I mean, this is made with writing in mind, so you are going to get a great writing experience with them. 
You'll have a little dragonfly here on the grip section. Again, a king of pen, 18 karat nib. Again, very pro proportional to the size of the pen, which is a large pen. Definitely a larger pen, but it works. Everything is balanced. That's what you want. So, like I mentioned, this one is up there at $4,316. But this pen and the Nectar, they take months and months and months to make. You are really buying a piece, and you're buying a piece of art that is fully functional and writes like a dream. So, it is something else. It's something most of us will never come to possess, but it's a treat nonetheless, and I hope that you enjoyed seeing these as much as I did. I really appreciate you joining me today and allowing me the opportunity to do this with you. So thank you again. The links for all of these are in the description below if you'd like to learn more. Have fun. Right on. Thank you.